Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. I wish to show you two demonstrations in science. They actually, technically, when you think about it, are not specific to any one particular science, but all of biology, chemistry, and physics. Let's, sure, let's get right down to it. It'll be a quick video. Some science tricks. I'll say tricks. That you can perform for your friends. But always remember, we're dealing with Mother Nature. And when you deal with Mother Nature, her name starts with a capital N. And you must provide the exact conditions for her to do something or else she won't do it. Let's see if I can do it. I, was, I tried making this video already with a paper towel sitting on a file or it wasn't working. I'm going to take this egg and I'm going to put it on top of this tube. As you see, it can't go down into the tube. And I say, I can make that egg go right down into the tube without using my hands. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to light this candle. Hmm. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to light this candle. And then I'm going to put the egg back on top of the graduated cylinder. And I will sh hopefully meet Mother Nature's requirements. And you will see the egg. Get sucked into the tube. Let's try it again. I guarantee it will work. Try a paper towel instead. I'll we'll try this paper. Get to get, get that going. Nope. Still not. I'm still not meeting Mother Nature's requirements. I tell you, I can get that egg to suck down into the graduated cylinder. Well, the experiment didn't fail. I was hoping to show you 
that by lighting a candle in the graduated cylinder would cause heat in the graduated cylinder. Air that is hot has air particles that make up the air like the gases of nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen, and argon. Bounce around a lot faster when it, those gases get hot. And that bouncing around a lot faster, they bounce out of here a lot faster and create actually a lower pressure of, 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 uh, <clears throat> of um, air in the tube than on the top. And if you place an egg on the top mouth, that low pressure and it's high pressure all around in the laboratory will suck that egg, make it suck it right down into the graduated cylinder. Right, it didn't work for me. Let's go on to the next demonstration. You always have to work with Mother Nature and do exactly as she says, or your demonstration won't work. But it didn't fail. There's no such thing as an experiment that failed. I'm going to take some table sugar. Sugar that you put on, that you make candy out of, and that you put in your coffee or tea. I'm going to put some sugar in the speaker. That's enough. I don't want my mother to be angry with me. And now, to the speaker of sucrose. Glucose is the type of sugar that our bodies need. Sucrose is table sugar and is converted into glucose in the Calvin cycle or citric acid cycle of our, inside of our bodies which is a biochemical process. And there's a lot to say on that subject alone. But anyway, uh, I need to get my special solution. Can I put it back? Yep. This is sulfuric acid. Undo it and pour it in there. Concentrated sulfuric acid and table sugar. What do you think I'm going to do? And here we are. You can use battery acid. You can't use battery acid because they dilute it with deionized water to make it a better electrolyte as a battery. But the sulfuric acid has to be dry with no water. Sulfuric acid is an acid. Notice, it's turning brown. Watch the beaker. We'll just keep watching. It's starting. Water vapor, carbon dioxide, uh, sulfurous oxide gases, and air, nitrogen. What's happening? What's happening to my white table sugar? And 
And look at that. When you mix table sugar and sulfuric acid together. Now, you might be wondering what that is. I can't touch it right now. It's an exothermic or heat releasing reaction. It's very hot to the touch right now. But these are pieces that I did as a demo for some friends, my mother, earlier today. I, when this cools down, I'll add to it. Just I didn't waste anything here. The nice thing about chemistry is you don't waste anything. Reactants and products will produce, in a chemical reaction, new chemicals. And then you have those new chemicals. Don't throw them away. Save them. And what am I going to do? This is the sulfur. Uh, this is the carbon. This is all pure carbon. The sulfuric acid reacted with the table sugar, which is a uh, cyclic six-carbon chain with many hydroxyl groups in it. And it turned into pure carbon, charcoal, charcoal. You can it's like you could put this in your um, uh, your summer grill outside. And I'm going to save mine and crush it up. And I'll save this and crush it up and put it into a container that says carbon. And then I'll have the chemical carbon. And this is actually interesting. Activated charcoal is carbon. And if you ingest a chemical or food poisoning, or you think you got food poisoning, go to the pharmacy, get a bottle of activated charcoal, and eat the whole thing. The whole container, every pill in it. Don't go by the directions of the, or don't take my word for it, I don't want any liabilities here. No, it shouldn't be a problem. The chemical that you ingested, or food chemical from food, that will cause, that caused food to spoil, and you know you're going to wind up with nausea, diarrhea, <clears throat> the, the chemicals produced by the bacteria that spoil the food will absorb into the carbon. And in fact, on the astronauts in space station, see this is too hot to touch, sulfuric acid is actually more of a um, desiccant. It sucks water away. It makes everything very dry. It's more of that than an acid. Uh, the astronauts, what do they do? How do they do this? How do they drink their own urine and recycle it, clean it up, ur urinate, and then send it through a, uh, a mechanism that cleans it and purifies it into drinking water again? Well, there's two things that the urine goes through. One is activated charcoal. Crush that up. Activated charcoal. The carbon absorbs uh, elements, radicals, and uh, compounds that are not appropriate for ingestion. And then take that distillate or not distillate. I, you're not doing a distillation. Excuse me. Take that, that filtrate water and then pass that through sodium bicarbonate. And what comes out? After the water trickles through the carbon and then through the sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate drinkable water. So always remember, enjoy your science, get out there prospect for minerals, and keep looking down.